Even though I don't wanna show emotions, I'm open. Not the type to try and double back twice, but you have me running right. right. What is up you guys welcome back to my channel my name is Atiyah you can call me Tia or Sunny which everyone you like girl so today I am finally doing this like hairstyles for braids because I was supposed to do it at least like two months ago but <laughs> that don't matter because we here so I'm going to basically be doing some of those hairstyles and I think one is different. So if you wanna see how I do these hairstyles, then definitely keep on watching. This my hair is boho. I typically keep it up in a bun like this. I'm gonna show y'all how to do that later. But the first hairstyle is pretty easy. Ooh, I got a little crisp. I was laying my edges. I've had these in for going on two weeks now. So if you've had a boho knotless, you know it gets like a little tangled. So I'm just gonna go through and untangle them and stuff and bring it to the back. To the back, to the back, to the back, to the back, to the back. Make a hoe out of me. Yeah, you gon' make me a gold digger. Baby, I should look like a stripper. Wearing fashion over So you could like have it like this where it's like, Boom, especially if you have like a skunk stripe here. I think that'll actually be cuter. Like have everything come in like this and then bring these two pieces back. This one back. Yeah, that's actually really cute. All right, so basically bring all your hair, if you have a skunk stripe, bring your hair to the side or you can do it down the middle. But I think to the side, it just gives it a little pizzazz, especially to show off my hair color. And then in the back, I have my scrunchie, right? And I'm basically just going to do a loose ponytail, like probably around like three times. And then it's just going to lay in the back like that. That is the first look, uber easy. Not into it, but to do it. All right, so for the next one, I'm going to take it out of the ponytail and we are going to do just, let's do the side swoop with the ponytail. So it's basically already in, actually, well, I'm gonna leave this one down. Um, I'm gonna take these pieces in the front just these. This one can go in the back. And this is gonna be swooped down like this. And up. we're gonna take these, just twist them up so it can get out of the way because the back is gonna go up into a ponytail. Six, seven, eight, triple, nine, eight, two, one, two. We're gonna bring it up. I'm trying to figure out where I want it to be. And then I'm going to wrap it into a ponytail. Boom, one, and it can only go around to 10. Or this thing won't break. Okay, and then this part, we're gonna use this to wrap around. Basically form it to how you want it to look. So I want mine to be like here, right. Yeah, like that. It's in the back, right? And you're going to bring it up and wrap it around the ponytail, like so. And then once you get to the end, you're just gonna tuck it underneath and just keep tucking it. So then just make sure you like figure out how you want this part to look. Part. I feel like it looks better though when it is not this braids because the boho, it kind of looks messier. Still cute though, it's still a cute little like hairstyle that you can do. I 
was not recording. So basically I just took it down and I was saying that you can either, you know, make it into like a low ponytail if you want, like something like this. I personally don't like a low ponytail because I feel like it makes my head look bigger, especially with braids. So I like to bring mine up. I always like to do a high ponytail. So I'm gonna bring it forward. So like, oh my gosh, I am getting makeup all on my shirt. Wearing white was not the move today, especially doing this type of video. But we move, so I'm just making sure it is flat in the back. Like there's no braids sitting on top of each other and stuff. Nice and flat in the back. And then go ahead and bring that joint around. Now, if you want your ponytail to look neat, which I'm going for more of a neat ponytail, I'm just getting like the little boho pieces through, all the way through, and then, boom. <laughs> it looks crazy right now, but okay. You have to like work it, right? You don't just wanna like leave it just like that. Ah, I like this hairstyle, this is cute. This is cute, like. Uh, that's why I love braids because you can just do different looks for different fits. It's just the perfect versatile protective style. Then the next style is so easy. Basically, okay. So basically, all you'll do is you'll put it up in a ponytail and you're going to wrap your hair around. But what I do is I'll twist it. So twist it, that little piece, you wanna make sure it is gam, okay? Cause this is going to be a neat bun. Now from here, I'm gonna bring it around, come down. I don't want like too many scraggly pieces. It's gonna look neater than like my messy bun. And then here, comes down under that wrap piece and then tuck it under, tuck the ends under. And that's how you secure the bun. Just play with it a little bit. And then that's it. This one gives me like ballet performance. It gives me dance performance vibes because this is like what we would have to do. But well, we would do it with our real hair, real hair, and then put like a little little donut joint. And the crazy part is we used a sock back in the day, and now they actually have like an actual thing for it. The next hairstyle, I'm gonna do a messy bun. This is my go-to hairstyle. This one, and then the one with the two braids in the back with the little loose ponytail. So, do the same thing I do for the other ones and just wrap it up, but I'm not gonna care as much. Put it where I want it to be. And then for this one, I'm going to pull it around, but I'm not gonna bring it all the way over. So it's basically gonna look like that. <laughs> Okay, and then I'm gonna wrap this part back. You see that little one that's like trying to peek through? Actually, let's do this one. This one can come down. And we're just going to loosely wrap it around. I think it's this way, let me see. Yeah, it's this way. Bring that down. And then shabooski, shabooski, booski, booski. Kind of pick at it a little bit to make it look how you want it to look. I don't want all those in the back though. So I'm gonna take some and just wrap it around. I do that three more times again, I testify for you. I told I like you, that bitch I do it. All that I'm around, you're scared to do, I'm not.
and yeah and then i like this hairstyle because it's you have the like pieces hanging down right but they're not in your way now unless the wind is winding then it will be in your way but if it's not it's gonna stay just like this all right so now for the next one you have to basically part down the middle all right so i'm gonna do one at a time i'm gonna do two messy space buns basically place it where you want it to be first before you go ahead and scrunch it up because then you're gonna be upset like what is going on do a quick wrap around but you really want to make sure like you have it in the position that you want you know and then like you see that little space right there i'm actually gonna bring this one down i'm gonna bring it up and bring it around and then just play with it a little bit to kind of you know shape it that little piece out if it looks like it wants to come out i'm gonna just take it out guys so that is the end of this video i hope you enjoyed it and found it useful helpful and hopefully inspiring if you did definitely give it a thumbs up it helps your girl out a lot it lets me know what you guys like and it also lets the algorithm know that you like my content you know if you made it this far definitely subscribe follow me on my other social media platforms i'm on instagram tiktok limited eight i'm everywhere okay everything is in the comment no. Everything is in the description box below as well as my braider. It's no gatekeeping over here. I linked my braider, all right? So yeah, that is it. I love you guys so much and I will hopefully see you in my next video.